Dude, what was it like getting traded? Legit, it was you, wild, you're, you're, man. You're, the friend, you're like the face of the Panthers, like the fucking yeah. guy. You're like my when, when we would play you guys, they'd be like, if you stop this guy, we have a chance to win. Well, he's going to touch the ball like third times a game. First overall draft pick for me, fantasy Thanks, football. Man. Thank Appreciate you for yeah. holding true. I was like, okay, he's had a couple injury bugs the last couple yeah. years. This is, he's going to get it right this year. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, take us through that trade, bro, because that's, yeah. I mean, that was a massive headline. It was, it was an... You know, you hear about it, but you never, I don't know. I, I, for me, I never thought I'd get traded. I thought I was a Panther forever. I'm like, I bought a house there. This is home. And uh, I'd heard the rumors in the off season. So I, you know, obviously I, I called the GM. I'm like, hey man, just, you know, I just need to hear it from you. Any, any truth? And he, he was super honest. He's like, look, absolutely not. We don't want to do this, you know, but we'll listen to everything. And that's, that's fair. I'm like, sounds good. Just let me know. But I went into the season, man. I'm like, look, I'm all in. It is what it is. I, 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 st I legitimately forgot about that, thinking I'm on the team. I play in, I think it was four or five games, and the rumors had continued to gone, and uh, Coach Rule got fired. We had lost a few games in a row, and I figured, like, if this was going to happen, this is how it happens. And, so you were uh, anticipating it a little bit. I didn't, maybe subconsciously, but I never, I never addressed it you know, openly. And so, uh, we played LA, we played the Rams. It was the first game with coach Wilkes and we lost. I had a pretty good game though. And I just remember my agent saying it could happen this week, but I don't think so. And so early in the week, it was, you know, I don't think this is happening. And then the week kept going and going and there was more of a chance. And I was just like, look, if it's going to happen, make it happen. I was preparing for Tampa. So for you know, anyone who doesn't know what it's like to get traded in the middle of a week, you know, I'm, I'm in practice and meetings Wednesday, treatment, practice and meetings Thursday, treatment, 11.30 p.m. I get a call, trading you to the Niners, yada, yada, 7 a.m. flight, didn't say bye to one person, practice with the Niners Friday, try to scramble together, you know, a few plays in a little package and go play the Chiefs on Sunday for the Niners. And then from there, you you just roll. So you, when when you call the GM, you obviously there's a, a bit of an anxiety. And then when you after you play the Rams, your uh, agents like, hey, probably won't happen, but it could happen this week. Yeah. How does that like affect you during the season leading up to that point? Because obviously everyone's always all in. Like the guys who really care about football, they're going to be all in for their team. But it's, there's going to be some sort of level of you got to feel some sort of way knowing there's a possibility that this team, whether you feel like they're giving up on you or they want to move on for whatever reason? Like, what was your thought process like up until getting traded? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think I, I legitimately blocked it out for the first four weeks. And then like, like you said, like that week where it was like, hey, this could happen. I mean, it's all I thought about, you know, it's like, it was completely in the back of my head. Like consuming. It's, it's the unknown. Yeah, it consumes you, but you have to do your best. We were, I was, you know, prepping for Tampa. So I just started, you know, doing all that and just getting ready to go. And I figured, hey, don't change a thing because regardless, you're going to be on a team, whether it's, you know, you get traded Tuesday or whether you get traded Thursday, whatever it is. I just didn't want to prolong it. I wanted to play in every game this year. That was a you know big deal to me to be able to suit up and play in every game. And so I just wanted it to happen sooner than later. But uh, no, it definitely consumes you. I mean, it's in the back of your head, even in practice. I'm like, dude, just don't do anything stupid. Like who knows what's going to happen? Like I was warming up for like an hour just to make sure I'm, you know, checking the box. So yeah, it definitely consumes you a little. And you, go ahead. I was going to say, is your re initial reaction when you got traded, is it pissed off? It's so the weird. Like it's, the a, very the first, weird like... it's a weird deal because there's so many emotions. And the first emotion is probably anger. Like, man, you guys don't want me anymore. Like, that's really what it is. You know, you can call it what it is. Well, they got a lot for you. It's like, nah, like, you're, you think you're better off without me. That's what it is. And uh, so uh, you get that. So it's, you know, you're pissed off. But then you're excited. But then you're, you know... You got two days. So I just think there's so many emotions that get flooded at you at once that you're not really able to address because they give you the playbook as soon as you get there. And you're like, shit, man, that's, a, that's you know, I got to get going. So you, you can't even address it. And I don't even know if I've completely decompressed yet with the whole thing. But uh, it's like a big breakup and you don't get any chance after. Yeah, the, yeah. it's like a breakup into a next relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. immediately. Don't immediately, even like, not even like the courting process of the other relationship. Right. Like, I'm healthy oh, to leave this yeah. one. I go this one. And your ex picks your next chick. And yeah, like, what the hell is yeah. Hey, we're right done, now. but she's yeah, gonna be she's great gonna to be, you. Yeah. She's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I hope she's good, and she yeah. was. <laughs> yeah, she was. Oh, there yeah. had to be a little bit of like Carolina was going down the dumps pretty fast. And then you get traded to the 49ers and like, hey. You're pissed at first and you're like, oh. I'm, I'm going to a good ball club here. And a family that obviously yeah. is documented. You know, you know what, you know though? And, and I've, 
this is dead honest truth. I legitimately thought we could still win because we had a really hard first part of the schedule. And so there was a few games in there where we're like, oh God, like you hope you win these games and you, you want to win these games, but you got a new quarterback, you got a new offense. There's going to, it's going to come with some growing pains. Our coordinator just got there. Our quarterback got there in training camp. Like I, I, I really believe we could still win. So in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, we could be one of those Miami teams who wins nine straight later in the year, a couple of years ago. I, I, in my head, believed that. And, and they ended up doing, you know, kind of making a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, they got the mix for sure. So I, I, you know, you, any way you could get into the playoffs, it doesn't really matter as long as you get in. And so I thought we could. And so that, that didn't help. I wasn't like, Oh, hell yeah, I'm out. Like that, that, that wasn't my mentality after I got traded. I love Charlotte, man. And I was a captain on that team. I love those guys. And uh, so, you know, it came with a lot of mixed emotions. So Thursday night, 1130 at night, you get traded. 7 a.m., you're on a flight. And then you have to play a game in 48 hours, essentially. Like, what was, when you talked to Shanahan and the boys, like, were you like, hey, we need these 10 plays out of you during the game? Because it was, it was a yeah. big surprise to everybody when you stepped on the field that, that Sunday. Yeah, I, at first, I didn't know if I was going to play. I don't think they knew if I was going to play. And then I think I got there. And, and if you know how Shanahan's a wizard, man, he... I think he started to put together a little bit of a red zone package and maybe something like 10 plays here uh, where he's like, you know, maybe we can use him in a couple different ways and teach him some base runs, get him some touches. And uh, so I had, I was ready for 10 to 12 plays. I ended up playing in like 20 and poor Jimmy, like he called like eight plays. I've never heard that. I have no, I couldn't tell you what one thing meant in the play. I'm like Jimmy, you, I'm sorry, but you got to tell me what to do. And Jimmy, you know, obviously told me what to do, but it was, uh, it was a different game week experience. I could say that. How was your How was your transition going to San Fran? It was great, man. It was great. I mean, that's as seamless of a transition as I could have imagined. From the coaches helping me out, learning the plays quick to shit. Brock Purdy was walking through with me on the turf field, you know, after hours just to try to you know get some reps in so I could hear the plays. Um, Kittle and all the leaders on the team. I mean, you're playing with guys that are elite at what they do. It's an elite bunch. All over the locker room. So from them, welcome me in, man. They felt like family right away. I was so thankful, um, you know, because you never know how that's going to go. It could be some resentment or some like, oh, who the hell's a new guy? And uh, no, they welcomed me in with open arms. Everyone was so great and clicked with those boys right away. 